All right, Jen Coito with AFE back uh, in our member spotlight with a uh, rock star member, Matt Donahue. Matt is with Cetera Investors in San Antonio, and I'm super excited to talk to you today. Hey, thanks, Jen. I'm excited to be here. You are the first person I've interviewed that I actually worked with through the sign-up process. So oh, yeah. I'm so, I mean, most, most of these have been, hi, you're a total stranger, but this is kind of nice and it's nice yeah. checking in and, and hearing about some of your success. Um, so you have been almost a year on level two, which is two introductory meetings a month. Correct. And so roughly how many companies have you met with to date? So to date, we've probably met with 20 to 25. Um, but one of the great things about AFE though, is as you know, when you say you're gonna get two introduction meetings a month, it's actually two meetings a month. It's not, here's two leads, go set a meeting. It's, did, you know, here's the lead. Then we get the follow-up email saying, hey, did you actually meet with them? Yes or no. And if it's no, okay, well, we'll get you another one, right? Um, and it's been fantastic. I mean, we've, we've got, I think it's, we're up to four financial wellness uh, relationships in place. We've got probably three other ones that are very serious about um, either starting or they're taking it to like a board of some kind to get approval to do it. Um, but we've also got some incredible referrals out of it as well. So um, and, and I'll warn you, Jen, I can talk all day if you let me. So No, I actually might. So when you say okay. incredible referrals, you were meeting with a company and you got an mm -hmm. individual or another whole company, or what does that look like? So yeah, the referrals were, were unbelievable. So one of the larger counties in Texas um, was an AFE lead of ours. So we followed up with them, hit it off right away with the decision maker. And within, say, a month or two, we had a, a monthly webinar schedule nailed down. Um, they want us to come in and do live stuff. Now they're asking us to train their employees on the 457, even though we're not the 457 provider, wow. right? I mean, it's, it's just spiraling from there. And so what that's led to is, of course, we do these webinars. This, this, this county has 10,000 employees. So we're, now we're starting to see three or four employees reach out to us every month to say, hey, could we actually work with you? Or do you, or do you provide personal planning services? Um, Why, in fact, we do. Funny yeah, of course we do, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny you ask, right? Um, the other cool part is um, they then have a great relationship with the state retirement system for municipalities. So the reason I was a little late for our interview today is we were actually on with them rehearsing a webinar we're doing tomorrow where they're going to present for half an hour to 45 minutes. We're going to present for half an hour to 45 minutes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And so, but they now have invited us into larger counties in the DFW area, Harris County, um, you know, and so on and so on and so on. So, you know, that referral alone from the county we're working with to the state system, you know, the state system covers 328,000 employees. And, you know, as, as we all know, a lot of advisors, you know, you know, would kill for an opportunity like that. Right, right. So you're basically going to quit us right here real soon because we worked <laughs> so well, well, you don't need us anymore. <laughs> well, well, that's the beautiful thing is we have no intention of quitting because, you know, yeah, we want to get the personal planning clients, but we also want to get a shot at the 457 or the right. listable insurance program if there is one. If there isn't one, let's let's introduce it to them and see what they think. Right. And, right. you know, that's where we've even taken the step of uh, put an offer out to a 401k, 457 expert to have him come join our team. And then that way we can do the financial wellness. He can then focus on, okay, the relationship's up and running now. Okay. Let's try to get the plan. Right. So we don't, we don't just want the client, you know, the employees, we want to get the whole plan if we can. Right. But. So you've said we a lot, how many on your team are actually doing, taking the meetings and doing the workshops? So there are, there's, there's three of us who do the presenting, depending on what the topic is. If it's more personal planning, it's me and my partner, Kenneth Hamilton. Um, if it's more of the 457, it's me and my other partner, Mike Gulker. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're working that way. Um, and then in terms of the one-on-one -on -one meetings, it's mostly me, Ken, and then our junior associate, Andrew Paz. Um, we do have our man in Austin, who is uh, Andrew Pyburn. Yeah. And he's been doing, uh, I've been working on him with this. And, and he's been bringing in another, I think he's doing another one per month, I think is what he's, he's doing. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's just, you know, we want to bring them in. We want to bring them in. We want to work with the individual clients, but we also know that if we get in, say, 24 leads a year, at least eight of them are looking to switch their 401k or 457 provider. Is that what you found? At 33 percent? Exactly. Did I do yeah. that math right? <laughs> yeah, you did. Absolutely, you did. You did. Yeah. 
And so, so the fact that there's a third who are looking to make a change gives us an opportunity to sit down and at least review it with them. And right. what's interesting is it's a long sales process. I mean, you know, we're six months, nine months into this relationship and we're just at the point with some of them where it's like, yeah, we do want to change our 401k. Would you be willing to talk to us about that? Right. So we're, so we're really close on a couple. You hit my next question. Uh, you hit it on the head. I say all day, every day, it's not quick leads. It's an investment of your time. It's relationship building. Um, what are your tips for kind of keeping that momentum going? You have it. You know, you've got these four that are already committed and these four that are moving and this plan and that, you know, you, you seem like you've figured it out. You obviously have a pretty good volume. 24 a year is a lot. So I feel like that buys you a little bit of time. If this one's not moving, you kind of drip on them and work over here. But what's your, what's your secret sauce? So, so you just nailed it right there. Okay. Flow. Right. I mean, I mean, that's it. If you're getting two a month, you know, like you said, they're not all going to be ready to do something right now, which is fine. Right. But as that database, you know, the term we use is as that database of leads grows, we all, you know, and all the experienced advisors who may hear this are going to know that someone that you talked to two years ago, every now and then gives you a phone call. Right. right? And so as that, as the relationship continues to grow and build and, and go over time, Hey, five years from now, there's 120 companies in our database. Right. So the, the thing is to keep them interested, we call them all at least once a quarter, even if they said we're not interested at this time. Right. Now, so you tell us, not, yeah, a, not an email. Like, hey, not an email. Know. It's an actual phone call. And that's, you know, it, it's very old fashioned in yeah. the digital world, but it works. Right. Um, we don't send out a lot of direct mail. Right. We don't do that at all, really, for this market. Yeah. It's literally we just keep calling and dripping on them. Wow. And we call one, like I said, once a quarter. Once a quarter. Okay. Um, so I was looking in our super secret system. I can look at your account. I was looking at the companies that you've met with and they are literally all over the board. And this they is are. what I tell people every day, right? You might have a niche, but we are education without discrimination. But your first few companies, number of employees. 12, 25, 200, 5,000, 1,000, 100, 2,200. So 12, like when you got that meeting of 12, were you like, oh, yay, or nope, it's just, it's this no, is in the mix, it, let's do it. It, it. It's part of a process because, you know, we look at that, that the smaller companies, just like we look at someone who's say in their early thirties and just got done paying off their student loans and just bought their first house, right? I mean, yeah, they don't have a dime to their name right now. They don't literally, right? But they're starting. And, and that's where I know a lot of advisors kind of shoot themselves in the foot with those younger people who are making pretty good money because they're like, well, yeah, you don't have a quarter of a million. You don't have a half a million. I can't work with you yet, right? We say, we'll get you to the quarter million. We'll get you to the half million. And then you're going to remember that we were the ones that got you there. Yeah. You're right? literally giving me chills. And by the way, if your mom and dad already have the half a million, exactly. Have to call me. Exactly. And, and those little 10 and 12 and 15 person companies, guess what? We relate to them really well because we're seven people yeah. all in, right? I mean, we're not, you know, we're right in that market with them in terms of the smaller entrepreneur. Yeah. So it also dove, dovetails well. I, I do teach with the uh, Small Business Administration and they put me in front of some other stuff too, but the financial education opportunity that AFE provides just blows it away because A, they're impressed that you're willing to come out Right. And then B, when you show them, look, there's 188, I think it is, or whatever workshops we can do. Let me show you the sample one we put together for this really large employer that's an annual one. And just let me know what you think. Yeah. And they almost always say, yeah, we want that one. That's a great idea. So you have a, a videotaped one that you send out. No, we literally, it's, it's just it a live. PDF. It's just a, it's just a PDF saying, here's 12 workshops that oh. we have calendared for one of our, one of our clients right now. Okay. And, you know, here's a, there's the title and then a brief description of what it's about. And everybody says fine. And the great part about it is 90% of the content is AFE content. We didn't have to make anything up. We didn't have to write anything. We didn't have to go buy something, right? 90% of the content's there. And for some of you who are using, you know, some of the marketing systems out there where they make it seem like, oh, big deal. We have 20 PowerPoints you can use. <laughs> I mean, you know, not only is there volume, it's all quality stuff because it comes from like Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. It comes from FDIC. Uh, yep. And when you throw those names around with employers, they are, they're like, oh, you're legitimate. FINRA. We have FINRA reviewed. 
Those yeah. FINRA reviews, we have 17 FINRA reviewed uh, workshops in our library right now, but we have another 40 soon to come. Mm -hmm. And that would be thousands of dollars just, just yeah, to have exactly. access to that. And ours is the whopping, you know, $299. Yeah. And, and, and from a compliance standpoint, because none of the topics are making any recommendations, they're just educating. Our, our compliance department was like, you're good. So that's a, actually, that's probably the number one question I a, get asked the most. I don't know. Do you work with any other, you know, Secure and Chase, whatever it is? Um, did you, what, was it a leaping through flaming hoops to get it through? Or you just said, here's the materials, here's the program. <laughs> it was a, the, actually the funniest thing was they had us, they had me speak at a panel, you know, for the broker dealer. And they told me, don't talk about AFE yet because we haven't vetted AFE as a marketing resource. Right. And I'm like, okay, so what does that mean for me? And they're like, well, you can keep using it. You know, it's just, we don't want them to say that we're, we don't want people to feel like we're endorsing it. And I'm like, oh, okay. That was the biggest hoop. Wow. Right? Our compliance right. department was like, yeah, these look good. You're fine. Well, I think you probably have been my single greatest source of referrals from my members. So um, your story and your experience is inspiring. I tell people all the time, not everyone is successful with this program because it takes everything you have. It takes the initiative. It takes the right mindset. It takes that follow-up. It takes patience. It's not mm -hmm. overnight, but it's right. lo the long-term play. And I think... Um, I think you will definitely be inspiring and uh, certainly help some folks make a decision who are on the fence. Um, anything you wish you knew, anything that kind of came as a surprise or good or bad? I'd say the biggest thing is um, patience with the HR, because it's typically an HR person you're, you're, you're speaking with. Patience with that person. Their day, you have no idea what's going on in their day. You have, I mean, it, and it's crazy some of the stuff we hear when we get to know them right yeah. um so if they blow you off it's not like a personal client blowing you off it's literally that their day got overwhelmed with something else and it's just you weren't a priority or it, they were overwhelmed and forgot right i and read just, that a, most hr people i don't know if this is true so don't quote me quoting anybody else i don't even have the source but i i remember when i was researching when we were partnering with sherm it said hr people spend 90 percent of their day deflecting sales pitches yeah. Imagine yeah. That. like somebody's yeah. trying to sell them something all day, every day. And here we are going, no, it's free. It's, it's just education, you know, but in their mind, they're so used to, you know, no, no. So that's, that's a, the best tip I think I've gotten yet. And then, uh, and then you brought up a really good point that I do want to touch on. Um, it's free. Yeah. And as we all know, there's people out there when, when they hear free right away, the alarm bell goes off. Right. And they're like, wait, why is it free? Right. right? So or we no perceived have, value. Right. 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 So we actually, yeah, we explain, they're like, wait, how do you get paid? And here's, here's the way we explain it. We just say, look, let's say during the course of, of the year, and it doesn't matter how many employees you have, but let's just say you, you we present to a hundred people through different workshops and so on as financial advisors, which we are also financial advisors, right? We work with the association of financial educators, but we are actual financial advisors as well. Right. Um, the way we get paid is if we bring in individual clients. So if we get in front of, say, 100 people in your organization during the course of the year, and we do a good job just educating them, we know from our experience, there's going to be five to 10 of those people who are going to reach out to us proactively, and we have a chance of them actually becoming a client. We get paid if they engage with us in our financial planning practice. My commitment to you as the, for, for the employer is that those meetings, if they take place, will happen outside work hours. And you'll see as we do the education programs, we are not saying set an appointment with us, set an appointment with us, set a, we're not right. saying that at all. We are literally saying, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to talk to you individually. And they're okay with that explanation. Has anybody exactly. ever said, oh, I've I don't never had working. Yeah, I've never had anyone push back on it, right? And where you really see the guard come down is after you do the first workshop. Yeah. Because then they're, they're like, okay, yeah, he's actually doing it the way he said he was going to do it. And then, then, then it's game on. That's right. The relationship building. Relationships are built on trust. You know, right. I can tell you in my dating profile, I'm the nicest person you've ever met. You, you're <laughs> ever going to meet, right? But I right. kind of have to show you that a few times before you're going right. to believe me. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And it's the, will the guy actually hold the door for you? Or yeah. will he remember you maybe don't want the door held for you? <laughs> right. right. I mean, if, if it's okay if he did it the first time, but 
if you're like, oh, I got it. Okay, fine. Does he, yeah. does he remember that? Did he know that? that? Exactly. Yeah. Um, th this is so great. I, like I told you off, off uh, camera, I, I tend to talk too much. Nobody wants to hear me anymore. Um, you are one of my favorites. I'm so, so, so thankful for your time. And you, I, I would like to like add up how many people you've helped through AFE and it's amazing. And we can't do what we do without you. So thanks, Matt. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Great. Thanks, Jen. Okay. Take care. You too. Okay. Wait, I stopped recording. Did I stop recording?